Now what we wanna do is associate a user with an article. So one kind of data with another kind of data. These are two different tables that I kind of track this data and to connect them together, we use something called a foreign key. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and say user equals to models dot foreign key. And we're gonna set it to auth dot user, the actual string of auth dot user. And then we're gonna go ahead and say blank equals to true and null equals to true based off of our current values in the database. And then we also need to set this method called mod on delete, and we're gonna use it as models.set null, which essentially means that if the user is deleted, this field in article is just gonna be set to be null. Okay, so now we have this new user. Now, this is the built-in Django user model, and this is actually not the way you're gonna to wanna to write it, although this is how I'll leave it for just a moment. So let's go ahead and since I made changes to models.py, more specifically the fields, we're gonna run python manage.py and make migrations and then python manage.py migrate. And let's go ahead and make sure our server is still running. Sure enough, it is. Let's jump in to the admin now and refresh in here. Now we've got this user object in here. Now we can actually call this something different, right? I should have named this maybe author, uh, but I actually like to use user as the primary item here uh, instead of something like author because user typically implies the owner of this object or this data. And so I can actually come in here now and associate that user. Uh, so this is great because then in my, let's say my search or any given template, like the detail view, I can actually give it an author now and say something along the lines of object.user and just give that the author. Okay, so we can save that and let's go ahead and even look at this one, grab the slug field and take a look. And so now it's giving me that author. Now this is a user instance itself. So it's actually very similar to the request.user. So we can actually say something like if request.user is equal to the object.user, then we can say, this is you right? Which is, I think, pretty cool. So we refresh in here. Sure enough, there it is. Now, it also means that I have access to other user attributes, stuff like username, stuff like ID, email. You know, we could do all sorts of cool things in there if the user has an email, of course. So if we do ID, it shows me the ID. We do username, it shows me the username, and so on, right? So this is actually that tight co connection to an article and a user. Now we're gonna talk about foreign keys a lot as we go forward. Uh, so it is a concept that we will revisit. But before we do, I wanna mention that this is actually not a great way to write the foreign key to the user, but you notice that it is a string. It's a string to the auth model that Django has built in. So we can actually look at this by going into our settings here and scrolling up to our installed apps. It's this one right here. So Django.contrib.auth. It's literally the auth.user model inside of that package, which we could even check some more inside of the site packages itself, Django.data and what was it? Django data contrib, right? So scrolling back in here, Django data contrib auth, looking for the user model in here, models and scrolling down, we will see somewhere in here is the user model. If I just do a quick search, we can see the user model. It's this right here. So that is pretty cool. Now you can always read more about all these different models and you can learn a lot from the Django code. Um, but before I even do that, let's just go ahead and acknowledge that this is not a great way to denote that. Uh, Django has it in the documentation. And in fact, if we ever wanted to change that default user model, we would come into the settings and change it here. So to change it, it's really simple. We just come in and do from django.conf, we import settings. And now we just declare that user model like this. So I'd say user equals to settings.auth user model. And that's it. So this right here, this actual setting will right now by default map to this string. But if I ever change that user model, 
we would change it in the settings. That's where you have to change it. And then it would be associated to whatever that is, which I think is also pretty nice. Now, when we do foreign keys, we can associate to any models. It just so happens that the, the actual user model itself has to be set in this way. That's really the best way to do it. Um, so now that I've made that change, let's just go ahead and run those migrations again. And no change is detected. And that's because inside of the migrations themselves, if we look at the user model migration, um, we see that it already defaults to settings.auth user model, which is interesting in of itself, right? So I never actually added that. It did it for me, right? So Django defaulted to settings.auth user model based off of what I wrote, which is pretty cool. I, like I said, I never actually entered that in um, as you saw. So uh, anyways, that is the default that we want to use. And now we have this really tight association. So um, let's take a look at one thing related to this association that I think is really nice. So now if I go into Python manage.py shell and let's import the article. So from articles.models import article. Now what I can do is a new type of query set where it's article.objects dot filter. And now I can say user two underscores username equals to CFE. Now I'll explain the two underscores in just a second. But if I hit enter here and hit QS, I now see the related query set to this particular user, uh, which is really nice. Now these two underscores are saying, hey, you know that user class look for the field or otherwise the field of username. And then we can use stuff like I contains if we are interested, or we can just set it equal to CFE. So it's just another way to do a query with these related models. But again, we're gonna be doing this a lot more going forward as we build out this project some more. Uh, so that's just some conceptual things related to it. Uh, so if you have questions on this, uh, hang on to them because we are gonna be using form keys so much. <laughs>